into it. How do we play the song? I've got my handy tuner here and I'll tell y'all exactly where I'm tuned. E, A, E, A, A. And that's relative to G, C, G, C, C, which is about, you know, a full step and a half higher than where I'm tuned for this song. So I'm tuned way down to like E, A, E, A, A. So that's where I'm at. <clears throat> and it's all, you know, most people play Darling Cora, even if they use this tuning, they play it out of the third fret position. So it sounds like this. So basically there I'm bouncing between the third and the fifth frets and that's the way that I did play it I think I probably I think I originally learned to play this song from a recording of Mike Seeger off of his CD I think Southern Banjo Sounds which is that's a good that's a good CD if you uh, if you're interested in different styles and different instruments and stuff go ahead and grab that that Mike Seeger CD Southern Banjo Sounds from I'm pretty sure from the Library of Congress Folkways recordings uh, if you get one Mike Seeger CD, I would get that one. He plays a bunch of different instruments. Some of them are old and, and homemade, and he plays a bunch of different styles and stuff. So that's that's a good one. And I think that's probably where I first learned Darling Cora, and I think I was, I may have been using that tuning, and but I was definitely playing it out of the third fret, so it had that... More, more I don't know what that would be, more bluesy sound. But when I... So when I started visiting George Gibson of Knott County, Kentucky, who's a master banjo player and a great researcher, just a real prolific type of guy. Um, when I first started visiting him when I was 14 or 15, I showed him how I played Darling Cora. And he said, you know, that's nice, but try moving up from the third fret up to the fourth fret. Try playing everything out of the fourth fret instead. So what I got was this. Um, and I can show you guys overhand as well. Overhand is the same way. You're just, instead of leading off with the ball of your thumb and picking, you're leading off with the back of your index finger and you are stroking. <laughs> see that when I play it overhand I am using that uh, repeating uh, open string pull-off what I like to call the Knott County lick that I also learned from George Gibson <laughs> What 
makes you sleep so soon. And highwaymen are riding, gonna burn this whole damn town. Woo. Also, when I play overhand, I play, I, I, I sort of drift in and, and do it more like, like how I think George approaches it. He uses a lot of double notes. Especially, it's so pretty that you know you really can. There's no need to over embellish. Um, so it's a great tune for beginners. It's a simple tuning, um, and it's a tuning you can play other things in. And you, this tune is so pretty that you can really just play it straight. You know. straight um, overhand claw hammer style as a lot of people say um, and you see I didn't use hardly any left-handed embellishments no right hand embellishments didn't even drop thumb and it's still a pretty tune um, so let's give you the details of how exactly I I do it on the left hand there so coming off on the fourth fret you can start the song by noting the third fret at the fourth fret or start it um, by doing a hammer on or, or something so that's the note you get or wake up and then you go to the second string open wake up and then note the second string at the fourth fret wake and then the second string open wake up so so far we've got You'll notice I can't help but bend it because I'm I really on this tune, uh, you know you got to make that banjo talk, you know. Wake up, wake up, and then back down to the third string. Open, dar, and then note it. Ling, chorus, and then the second string open twice. So so far we've got. So I'll see both hands. And you're just walking back and forth. Drop down to the fourth string there. And then I'm doing little different runs in there. That's one that, that George showed me that he said his father, Mal Gibson, did was this basic run. Make it your own, you know, make it your own version. Don't try to copy all every single one of my embellishments or look up George George's videos maybe on the internet and try to copy every single one of those. Uh, I don't play it like very, very, I play it similar, but nowhere near exactly the way he plays it. And he probably doesn't, doesn't play it too terribly similar to the way his dad played it, you know, it's similar, but it's his own. So make it your own, guys. I showed you how to, how to do the basic fingering here. Tune. All right, 
I guess I'll leave you with that. That's been a good little 10 minute discussion. Um, if anybody wants to, wants to know more, if there's anything else I didn't cover or you didn't quite get, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do another one of these. So the next thing you're going to see from us is we're going to do close ups. I'll try to show you all a close up something like this, but just like just both my hands maybe. And then we're going to give you uh, the more extreme close up of the left hand and of the right hand separate. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.